Church is open. Church is open. Happy Saturday morning. It is early and the sun is creeping in on Miss Aurora. You all know that I am Aurora J and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. And in this video, I'm going to tell all of the secured entrepreneurs just why the church is the gold standard of all tax exempt organizations. But first, yesterday, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump declared that all houses of worship are now considered essential businesses. Check the verbiage, essential businesses. Yes, church is a business. And for all of the secured entrepreneurs who are actually my spiritpreneurs who work with us here at Aurora Day Consulting, you all know that we are the best at what we do as it relates to putting your religious or spiritual organizations together. Some of you have moved on it and have been extremely successful. Uh, others don't really make a move, you know, as quickly. Okay, but where Miss Aurora is going with this today is that this this is falling on a perfect time because I was going to answer a question from one of you all who emailed us here and please continue to do so. Uh, we really appreciate hearing from you and working with you. Info at auroradayconsulting.com. This gentleman says he wants to be paid to prep. He says he has been praying with people and it's time for him to pass the plate. Okay. <laughs> and wants to know, you know, how soon can he get his show together? Well, it's happening this week, okay? So this is falling on a great time when President Donald Trump is now saying church is open this weekend. And he stated that any governor who defies this order, he will override, okay? He said, you can call me about it, but it won't be a successful call. Listen to this. Control and prevention is issuing guidance for communities of faith. I want to thank Dr. Redfield and the CDC for their work on this matter and all the other work they've been doing over the past, what now seems like a long period of time. Today, I'm identifying houses of worship, churches, synagogue, and mosques as essential places that provide essential services. Some governors have deemed liquor stores and abortion clinics as essential, but have left out churches and other houses of worship. It's not right. So I'm correcting this injustice and calling houses of worship essential. I call upon governors to allow our churches and places of worship to open right now. If there's any question, they're going to have to call me, but they're not going to be successful in that call. These are places that hold our society together and keep our people united. The people are demanding to go to church and synagogue, go to their mosque. Many millions of Americans embrace worship as an essential part of life. The ministers, pastors, rabbis, imams, and other faith leaders will make sure that their congregations are safe as they gather and pray. I know them well. They love their congregations. They love their people. They don't want anything bad to happen to them or to anybody else. The governors need to do the right thing and allow these very important essential places of faith to open right now for this weekend. If they don't do it, I will override the governors. In America, we need more prayer, not less. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now why is the church, why are churches the gold standard of all tax-exempt organizations? Well, because unlike other tax-exempt organizations, the church legally does not have to apply to the Internal Revenue Service for a tax exemption. Now you all know Ms. Aurora cannot make this up. The Internal Revenue Service furnishes us, the public, with 
a tax basics for exempt organizations. You can go to IRS.gov and get that. There is also a tax guide for churches and exempt organizations, okay? So you can see for yourself that the reason why the church is such a big business is because not only are the offers, the donations, okay, not only are there, you know, you collect offering, you collect a donation, that's going to be tax exempt. Also, whatever property is owned by that church, that religious organization, is also exempt from property taxes, okay? And we all know that if in fact you are giving an offering, you are giving a donation to a church, that is a deduction for those of you who are taxpayers. You can write that off on your 1040, okay? Now, do you remember, how many of you remember when the Church of Scientology won their case because they actually asked for an exemption. They wanted to be a 501c3. And, and the Internal Revenue Service was like, I don't really, you know, see where you're actually a church. After several lawsuits, the Internal Revenue Service had to give in and state clearly, yes, the Church of Scientology is a church and they are worthy of a tax exemption. Okay, now, for, for those of you who have absolutely no interest in asking the Internal Revenue Service for a tax exemption, which they clearly state that you don't, I just gave you the two guys that you can go to, but it's, it's splattered all over irs.gov. There's three things. Number one, you must have a distinct legal existence, okay? Now these guides that are published by the Internal Revenue Service are telling you this. You must have a distinct legal existence. So what that means is that you have the proper documentation. You have the proper documentation. And yes, you are going to apply for the correct employee identification, employer identification number. Why? Because this is a business and you need to open a bank account. Okay, you've got to collect all of your tax-free money, <laughs> okay? So you need your EIN from the Internal Reven Revenue Service, okay? You need to carry with you, with your organization, a distinct legal existence. You've got the proper documentation, you've got the EIN, you can open the proper business bank account, all right? Number two, recognized creed and form of worship okay what is the purpose of this spiritual organization what is the purpose of this spiritual organization okay let's get that clear now some people who come here to work with miss aurora we have to kind of piece it together because they're doing you know some some of you are are you know clearly defining yourselves as spiritualists or you're clearly defining yourselves as healers and ministers. So we work on what the creed is, what the purpose is, okay? And that's very, very important because as I tell all of you, the Internal Revenue Service and these guys that they publish, they will tell you what they consider to be UBI, which is unrelated business income, because they will ding you there. If in fact, some of the things that your organization is doing to collect money is unrelated to the business of the church, which you have clearly defined legally, you will have to pay taxes on that, okay? So be very, very mindful, all right? Number three, okay, now I'm just giving you top three because there, there, are, there are several depending on what type of organization that you plan to uh, create, to organize, all right? Number three, literature of its own, okay? What is the literature associated with this religious or spiritual organization, okay? So what is the belief? What, is, what, is, what are the people who are coming to you or falling under you, okay? If you've got memberships, all right? What is the literature, okay, 
Now, you know, there, there we, we have some organizations that have literature. We've got the Jehovah Witnesses. You know, they have literature. The Church of Scientology has literature. Okay, Seventh-day Adventists have literature. And these are just a na to name a few, okay, to give you an example of what, we, what the Internal Revenue Service is referring to, okay? And I'm going to say that the, those top three are what really stand out if, in fact, you're not... Uh, you don't plan to organize something really big to where, okay, we're all gathering here. Yes, we do need to buy property. Yes, we do need to go down to the tax office, okay, the revenue office and say we need an exemption of property taxes here, okay? Those are the top three. All right, so Miss Aurora wants to thank all of you for, for tuning in and being here with the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. And for all of you who have taken advantage of the COVID-19 discount, you have all come in and gotten your trust appointments. If you have not, the link is down below here in YouTube. And you all know that you can find me, Miss Aurora Day, at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.